So we're going to try and cover some ground quickly again. This is called the Divide. This was an old Cosmodrome. There's got to be something we can fly out of here. Incoming! Oh dear. This isn't good. Fallen ships this close to the surface. Move. I am moving. Let's go over there. If you get lost and don't know where to go, tap your the the middle pad that you this that you can tap. The sent the one that you can slide your finger along. Just use that. All right, so I'm gonna get here. Got his head. Him. Oh! Nah, he's got he's got a sniper rifle. Okay, so there's plenty of them. See, like I say, this hasn't got a lot on the way of um, on the lot of on the bit of range, really, to be honest. So we've got to keep moving forward. Couple of them were like sniper kind of rifles. Head. Ha! <laughs> Put your head out again. Got you. Miss you though. Got you there though. This is actually one of the best places you can do it because if you're out in open, some of them have got sniping ability. And uh, they'll kick your ass, there you will. Have I got more? Is this recording? Yeah, it is. Sorry, I forgot to check if my mic was switched on. That would have been a bugger. I've done all this for nothing. Okay, so when you approach here. Got bullets again on the floor. You'll get more come to try and stop you. These are called sharps. They're just the mechanical floating um, mechanisms that fire at you. Level two, yay! I'm up signs of an old jump ship. Could be our ticket out of here. Okay, so let's go. Right, so I've leveled up, so I could quickly go to the leveling up up here. You press the uh, options for this to go to here, the options button. Then hold triangle and you'll go to here. And this is what I've built up. An explosive grenade that disorientates enemies, it damages. And that's a uh, bounce to L1. So I can press X on it and it lights up. And that's it. Press circle to come out. So now I've got a grenade bound <coughs> to left one. So let's just, there it is. Oh, there you go. And the redness round his he head was the disorientation. Got his head. Got his head. Got his head. Yay! Okay, so it's going well. Keep picking up the ammo, of course. You got to keep looking for the ammo. Now, if you're looking bottom left corner. You can see your bullets and, and all that kind of thing and also where you can switch gun. So I've got 5 of 13, 18 altogether, 25, 2, 6, 1. But if you looked at left of that, you'll see like a grenade icon. And that actually is building up. There's a light building up behind it. That is That means it's recharging. In this, it isn't about carrying grenades as in buying them. You just actually let it recharge. Clear them out. And then you... Uh, that's it. Once it recharges... Captains have like a shield that builds up. Once it recharges, you can throw it again. So you never actually run out of grenade. 
it just it just takes a while to charge up sometimes. You want to get rid of that captain if you can, because he's uh, he's, he's got like his own shield, so he becomes awkward to to kill. So just keep your eye on that grenade and when it when it builds up again. Just thing it then. Just throw it just throw it again. Eventually you'll clear them out. I believe. And that should do it. Punch to the face. That shows you who's the All boss. Right. Let me see if I can get us out of here. And then you got a cutscene. Okay, so this is the cutscene just coming to an end here. I'm sorry I jumped the cutscene. If you want to know what the cutscene actually was, I'll try and find it on YouTube and leave uh, in the it in the description so that you can actually see it for yourself. The reason I did I took it out is I don't mess with cutscenes. I've had them hit me many times before with third party copyrights, and I get messed up with them. So you know, to me, it's really best. If I don't do them. So I will be cutting cutscenes out. But if I do cut a cutscene out. I'll try and find it on YouTube. And put it in the description each time. So then you get an activity. You kind of get your, your kill screen. Now, I mean yeah you've done. I killed 53. Uh, I did 25 precision kills also. Oh 25 precision kills. Were part of that 53. And uh, 5 ability kills. That's um, that punches in face, that kind of thing. Your precision kills are aiming down, scope, hitting the head. Like a headshot, boom, that kind of thing. You can look at a mission summary thing, telling you more about it. And uh, this tells you what you're advanced and things like that. When you're done, hold down the uh, triangle and it clicks, ticks off. And then you get your final part that takes you through to the, uh, to the city where you're going to be. So this is going to be a cut scene again that I'm going to cut out, but again I'll try and put it in the description for you. Now as I've said before, uh, I might not gain trouble for, do, for leaving cut scenes in, but I might do and I don't want to risk it. Uh, I know this is a bit of a cut scene, but I'm actually talking, I'm going to talk completely over it, so it won't affect uh, the sound, won't be thingy, because it tends to be sound that I tend, you tend to gain most trouble with visually. The, if they let you do the game normally, they'll not, they'll not complain about cut scenes. Welcome but sometimes the they'll outsource the, the sound parts to other companies and they do hit you. they might hit you with third party copyrights, that's what happened with um, Deus Ex. So yeah. We've we've landed in our in the hometown kind of thing. And uh, this is where the actual real life people are gathered. That's not real life people, that's just part of cutscene. But in a minute we'll be back we'll be on actually on the it's called the tower. We'll be actually in the tower the way people can actually um, can actually we can actually see other people, real life people running round. And here we are. So we just landed in the tower properly, and now this is actually real life people running round. So these blue names over there that you can see, they're real life people. And you've got people, who, and you've got like NPCs in game you can talk to, and uh, like for instance over here. This is uh, the Cryptarch, and this is where when you you can get some stuff like um, weapons and armor, but they come in the form on with him. They come in the form of an engram, which basically means like a blueprint, and he then translates the blueprint and tells you what you've actually been, what you've actually received. So it's kind of a hit and miss thing. You're not actually buying a set thing. It could be. It could be something bad that you don't need. And the stock's going to refresh in 2 hours 17. Uh, over here, we have the gunsmith. He's selling guns. I don't know what guns he's selling now. Let's have a look. He's got a, got a green weapon. Green weapons are like your, you know, your, your next level up from white. A like little bit rarer. This is a level 8 weapon. It's got de decent attack. But it's a shotgun. I don't like shotguns. But he's got other things. If you hold square down, you'll access him. And you can look at each one. And here's the good thing. If you point at something, then hold down right trigger, it'll actually compare this one with what you have right now, which I have the one on the left. So at level 6, this one, of course, would be a lot better than level 1. And it shows you what you'll get and what you'll lose. 
So if I have the level 6 one, rate of fire will go up, impact goes down, range goes up, stability goes up, and reload goes down. And also, magazine goes down by one. So that's just kind of showing you. It's an easy way to compare. And then down here, I'm just going to show you quickly this one, then that's it. This is where you can get your armors. You can come down here. It's a beautiful place. And uh, this is where you can get your armors. You've got three, your three main types. This is for the warlocks. This is for the hunter. And this here is ours. We click on him and we can get armor. He'll give you one to start with, which is this. But you can actually buy off him as well. So you can buy any of these. And you buy it with glamour. Sorry, glimmer. And uh, that's what you buy your your tit your titan stuff with also there are vanguard stuff and uh, you get that right you get you get points for vanguards by doing missions you know by doing special missions things like that also there's a place in this called the crucible which is a yeah which is like pvp arena you go there and there's lots of pvp against other players if you want to do that side of things right now very quickly i'm going to switch out i'm going to show you my character and uh you know my the character i play now the main character i will be getting rid of this one and redoing him because i'm not fully pleased with him but it would be enough for this uh, demonstration and i'll show you this my, my main character quickly and then we'll call it today so i will be right back okay so here he is this is my um warlock which is like the magic user of the game i'm just showing you some of the scenery from uh in the tower. I'm actually sat on a little platform that comes out of the tower. That's what it looks like anyway. I'll take you in and we'll, uh, we'll have a better look at him very quickly. So, here he is. He's, uh, he's one of the that middle class, that not the human I can't remember his name, I'm sorry but that, that class with the paler skin I picked that, I'm getting my orange hair. His, high, his eyes are bright orange because as you know, my favourite colour is orange. So let's have a quick look at his, what he's wearing He's got this, uh, he's got some green armor on here, stuff, and it tells you here, uh, your defense and that. It's on level 7 right now, we, we've got a, a green weapon there, we've got a normal white weapon there, and, we've got, and I'm carrying a rocket launcher and a machine gun for my heavy weapons. So uh, that is, uh, that's how he looks when he goes out to fight. When he goes out onto the planet, he looks like this. And each time you put some new armor on, it will change, it will look different. Like, if I put them on, I can't yet. I've got them to put on at uh, next level. But if I put a different armor on, or a different gun on, you will actually see it change on him. So it will look different. Like, if I put a new helmet on, that helmet will look different that's on him. You'll see it change real time. Okay, and then as he walks around the tower, it looks like this. And that's, uh, this is all there is to it. Anyway, so that's it, guys. I'm going to go now. I hope you've enjoyed this character creation thing. Let me be one with nature. Let's just uh, have a good view from here. Yeah, I'll sit down. <laughs> Let's sit him down with the with the uh, leaves and everything. He looks good in there. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this character creation. And I hope you're looking forward to more Destiny. Because in the next episode, I will be actually taking this guy here. We'll be on the planet and we will be fighting. And we'll be killing things. And I'll show you how that looks and what buttons do what. And how you kill and places you can go and things like that. Okay? So you take good care of yourself. Thanks for watching. And goodbye for now, my friends.